Hey guys, Justin Lee Harold here with Dish and Days. I'm here at Day of Days 2022 at the Xbox Plaza. I am joined by these two greats. We have the very handsome Robert Scott Wilson and the very lovely Abigail Klein. How are you both? So good. Doing well, man. Here we are. We're back. Rob, I know you've been at Day of Days before. Abigail, I believe this is your first one? This is my first one. Yeah, what a blast. It's fun. Yeah. How's this, how have you prepared for today? You get plenty of sleep, vitamins. How do you think the day's going to go? White strips. Um. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. Yeah, I try to try to get a little a little extra sleep. Not too much tequila last night. Uh, extra coffee this morning. Yeah, mm. here we are. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's Gotta do stay it. energized. Um, Rob, I have to ask you: Are you oh, having as much fun playing Alex as we are watching you play Alex? Man, I'm having literally the time of my life. It's just a breath of fresh air. It's so fun, and uh, you know, now we're un un uncovering those other layers of him. You know, a little bit more why he he operates the way that he does, but um. He's just a fun character. There's nobody like him in town, and that was a big thing for me. And, you know, it's just really great. And we've had a couple firsts with him already, so it's, it's nice. It's been a really great time. Biggest difference between Ben and Alex in terms of playing him or how you approach the character? The biggest difference? Well, I just discovered this earlier. Ben had a body count. Alex also has a body count, but it's a little different. So, yeah, Sim similar but different, you know what I'm saying? Um, but no, he's, he's, he's fantastic and uh, it's just so nice to be able to do what I love on, on my you know, home turf but have this like, brand new character to develop and um, you know, the producers and writers, you know, Ron and his whole team, I'm just really grateful. I have to ask you, what's it like working with, I wouldn't say new cast members, but a whole nother set of the cast that you were sort of, you weren't sort of relegating or working with on Yeah, well, I've had, you know, a little bit here and there, but obviously working with Abigail, you know, is fantastic. Um, but, you know, I, I worked with Wally a little bit. He was my lawyer as Ben, but as my dad, forget it. You know, he's, I absolutely love him. Wally, you're, he's a champion. Um, and of course, you know, Uncle Vic, uh, absolute legend, Auntie Mag. Um, it's just really great. Judy Evans is, an, is a blast. So there's just so many great people. From day one, it took all my nerves away from, you know, doing something that's never been done in a two-week period. Uh, they put a lot of trust in that and trust in, in the writers and me for some reason. And I just wanted to do it justice. So uh, I'm really grateful. I have to, it's amazing to watch seeing you play Ben all those years and just having you come in as Alex. It's just, it's, it's, it's awesome, man. Yeah, really great job. Thank you. Abigail, you are Stephanie coming into the scene. She is a strong, confident character. What's it been like playing her so far? Oh, it's been so much fun. It's been so much fun to play Stephen and Mary Beth's daughter. They're legends, and they're so sweet, and they're so welcoming. So I've always, since day one, pretty much felt like their daughter. Um, but yeah, it's been so fun to, to look at Stephanie's life and what she's been through. And yeah, I think she's a, she is a really strong, confident character and has a lot to figure out with work and with relationships. But it's fun to, it's fun to play. She's very, very fun to play. Nice. Speaking of Mary Beth and Steven, they have a tendency to sort of, uh, the kid, people play their children, to bring them into the fold and sort of take them under their wing. Has, have you experienced that? Yes. Oh, totally. Before we, I even started filming, uh, Steven met me for coffee and kind of gave me the lowdown on so how cool. it works and, you know, this is who you talk to for this and this and, you know, so just so great. Yeah. So now let's talk about um, Alex and Stephanie. Um, there's some push and pull there. There's... Well, Alex There's, is definitely pushing a little too hard, but uh, <laughs> he, he sees what he wants and he's going to go after it, you know, and, uh, you know, he's just got to work on himself a little bit before he steps up into the big leagues. So we're going to see that, that roller coaster of the up and down and, um, you know, hopefully he doesn't completely screw it up, you know. And we've sort of seen Stephanie sort of soften him a little bit. Is that, how's that been playing out? Yeah, I mean, Stephanie, Stephanie has her guard up for sure. Um, but I think slowly she's sort of seeing that there might be some different sides to Alex. Um, so without saying too much, we'll see. We'll see yeah. what happens. Yeah. yeah. And now you've thrown in Chad in the mix, so we're getting a little bit of a triangle here. I'm not sure how long that's going to continue, but but what's it like to sort of come in hot? I mean, she's sort of a boss character coming in, owning her own business, career gal, and now she's thrown into this sort of triangle. Yeah, no, it's it's awesome. Uh, she's coming in to Salem because she's working with Paulina, and um, so she's got that going on, and she's also struggling with that. There's been some um, failures on her side, so she's trying to redeem herself with work, but then when, she, when she's, you know, on her off hours, she's, you know, kind of thinking about these 
to potential relationships, and so that's also, you know, well, it keeps her busy, I guess. Yeah. She's a busy girl. Yeah. And we're getting a little intrigue with both of your characters, the stuff with Sloane and speaking of working for Paulina and sort of taking the file and helping with the blackmail issue. How's that to play those scenes, especially with you tied to a bed and uh, <laughs> playing so spy versus spy? That was so fun. Uh, it was just a blast, man. You know, it's it's nice to get, get into characters like that and, and do something a little different than what I've been used to, playing this really, you know, dark, self-loathing type character. And now in this confident bravado and, you know, family and money and success. But at the end of the day, without love, you're going to feel like shit. So he's trying to find his love. And uh, sometimes you gotta you got to steal some files for your, for your person. And, Try to do that's a little. That's true love. That's true love, man. Sometimes you gotta get tied up to a bed and take one for the team. <laughs> Your scenes with Jessica as Sloane are just, uh, just hilarious. Thank you. She's great. It was really fun. She, it was really fun. She's great too. Yeah, great, great. A little shot of life there too. So, uh, her and Alex are a fun, fun dynamic too. But um, sometimes too similar doesn't work out, right? So I think we're gonna, we're gonna kind of go through the ebbs and flows of that, but. Um, it's been a wicked fun time, you know, just a blast with all of it, so. One of the things with having two new characters come in, seeing who sort of they pair you with to see who the chemistry is better, not even romantically, just um, in terms of work situations or friends. Um, Abigail, what's it been like to work with Jack A? Oh my God, I love her. I love her. She cracks me up. Even when we're rehearsing and she'll say something and I try so hard not to laugh. Um, but I, I mean, I grew up watching Sister Sister and so when I got to set and saw her, she, I just was like geeking out inside. She has no idea, by the way, that I feel this way. Um, so, uh, but yeah, she's just, she's so wonderful and so warm and so funny. I adore her. Yeah. yeah, she's one of the greatest things that could have happened to our show is definitely Jack Gay and the fact that she's stuck around and is killing it, but she's like enjoying it, and or it seems as if you know. Anyway, um, she's just a legend, man. So that's always my my top choice for who I'd want to work with more too is Jack Gay. She's just so fun, so good, so talented. So yeah. And another thing the fans are sort of responding to is outside of the threesome, but also the friendship your character has with um, with Raven and Lindsay and that sort of a threesome in a different way yeah, that's sort of yeah. interesting. Because they became friends, you know, they became friends and, you know, they kind of get him and for all, all of his obnoxiousness, especially at the beginning, but they're kind of seeing him develop as a, as a man again as well. Um, and yeah, they just have a great friendship and, you know, sometimes throw a little tequila in the mix and things get out of hand. But that was, uh, you know, it's just a chance to make history. I don't, you know, any opportunity we get to do that in any matter of life I think is um is I think is good this one came with a little wildness but I'll take it you know no it's so great to see those sort of uh, I wouldn't say platonic friendships in this case but those <laughs> friendships there I mean we we talk about it all the time on the show we got them in the 90s a lot and uh, sometimes we don't always get them it's there's a tendency to put characters together to have them be romantic but it's always nice to see Absolutely. sort of a yeah. platonic you know, friendship in real life so why not be able to write about it and, and tell that story and show the the ups and downs of that, you know, it's it's all it's good, it's creative, it's new, it's fresh, gets people talking. Even if they're, even if they're offended, they're talking. So I hope you're not offended. But if you are, I'm sorry. And, uh, next time there's gonna be a foursome. So. Hey. Spoiler alert. We will look forward to that. Um, so we have a little bit more time. We're gonna jump into a quick game here with you guys. We're gonna do a never have I ever. And um, you know, as I ask the questions, we will. I'll have you raise your hand um, if it applies to you. Okay. All right, here we are. All right. Um, never have I ever fallen asleep while doing a scene. I've never, I've never fallen asleep. No, no, oh, so oh, don't you, okay. oh, don't. Oh, my God. Listen, my coffee hasn't hit. No, I've never fallen asleep doing a scene. I've never done. No, take that back. No. All right. Now I'm ready. I know the game. Let's do it. Never have I ever stolen my character's wardrobe or borrowed. Oh, I'm doing it right now. This was... Yeah, this th this was Ben's jacket. No, this is Ben's jacket. I actually just pulled a, a clip off of it. In I was getting a, co a coffee this morning, and there was a little. I was like, "What is this?" And it said Ben on a clip. Yeah, this was Ben's. Yeah. <laughs> Never have I ever driven to the wrong set. Oh, I've walked to the wrong set. Always, yeah. always. Throw me yeah, up yeah. there. Yeah. I always go to the wrong. <laughs> to the wrong set when they're like stage two and I'm in the Brady pub, but it's really the bistro and I get confused. How long yeah. does it take you to figure it out? Is it no one's well, around? Well, when no, no one's, one's around, I'm like, oh, I guess it's the other stage. Yeah. <laughs> Got it, a little clue there. <laughs> All right, never have I ever rolled onto set from a night of partying. <laughs> <laughs> but 
to you know your lines? Always. No, I'm, I, I will never not be, pre you know, knock on wood. Uh, I try to come wildly prepared, but there's certainly been times where, you know, we come back from a fan event or wherever the fuck we may be, and, uh, excuse me, uh, you know, there's been moments, but uh, always prepared. Yeah. One last one. Never have I ever used my celebrity to get in or out of a hairy situation. Nah, no. nah, I'm sure there's something, but nah, no, I don't think so. Can't really not lead that with that. Here. Yeah, <laughs> not for this ring light. <laughs> Used all for good, I'm sure. This shit, Jesus. Well, thank you both for stopping by. Really appreciate it. Um, wishing you a great day of days today. Thanks, and man. yeah, I know you have a lot of more interviews and a Q and A at the end. But yeah, really great to see you, you both. Yeah, you, man. Thank yeah. So happy to meet Thanks. So yeah, finally. Thanks so much. Thanks everyone. Thanks guys.